Hey guys, it's Kelly, and today I'm giving you my review on Scream 5. Um, I watched it on Friday, and the reason I'm doing it two days later, the videos. Number one, after we watched Scream on Friday, me and my mom and sister, we, we watched Silence of the Lambs. And Silence of the Lambs, which the title, I don't understand the title for it. But it's about the cannibal Hannibal Lecter. So it was kind of nasty. I mean, I, if you guys, I would, I don't know. I don't want to say I don't recommend it, but it's like, it has some kind of grossness in it. So, you know, I mean, if you have a weak stomach, I wouldn't necessarily watch it. But I mean, it's an interesting movie. So anyways, but we're here to talk about Scream 5. Scream 5 came out this year. You know what's crazy too? There's five Screams, obviously, but the first Scream came out like 10 years after the first one. I mean, the third one. And then now the fifth one came out about, it, the fourth one came out in 2011. And then this one came out 11 years later. So it's like, I don't know. But, so, if you guys don't want to get spoiled, um, well, I am not going to spoil too much, but I am going to talk about the movie a little bit and a few things that happen in it. So, you know, like I said, there's nothing too major I'm be giving away. I'm not going to give away who the killers are. That's just a whole twist in itself. You don't see it coming. But that's kind of how it is for these movies. But I do recommend watching Scream. Um, all of them. They're all good. But Scream 5 was just amazing. And the, um, the three original cast members were in it. Um, Sydney, Gail Weathers, and Dewey. Officer Dewey. If you guys never watch the Scream um, movies, then you don't know who I'm talking about. They've been in the whole Scream franchise since Scream 1. Um, unfortunately, one of them do end up dying. I'm not going to spoil who, but it was sad. Anyways, um, and if you guys didn't know, Gail Weathers is played by Courtney Cox, and she played Monica and Friends. Um, I know she's been in other stuff, but, and her and Dewey, David, Arch, Arch, I don't know how you say his last name, Archulain, they were married in real life. They're diverse now. And then Sydney Prescott is played by Nev Campbell. Anyways, so, starts off this girl named Taylor, and Taylor is played by Jenna Ortega, and she's a big Disney star, so you might know the name. And she has an older sister named Sam. Now, Sam is the daughter of Billy Loomis. Billy Loomis... Dude, I just thought of a connection there. But I'll talk about connections in a second one. Billy Loomis, he was the killer in the first Scream. Spoiler alert. I should have said it before I say it. He was one of the two killers in the first Scream movie. So, that's interesting in itself. Um, and how she found out was crazy. Through, like the story when she tells Tara the sister um because pretty much Sam has been kind of extra estranged from her family because she was scared she's gonna be like Billy and so she stayed away um and then there were twins and there was a bunch of characters that there were twins boy and girl named um I have it written down in here they are named Chad and Mindy um and they are the niece and nephew of Randy now Randy he was a character in Scream 1 and in Scream 2, spoiler alert, he ends up getting killed in Scream 2. Um, so yeah, that's an interesting thing right there. So there are connections to past characters in them. Now, there's a few connections I've noticed in Scream. Um, there's a character named Wes. Um, and Wes is the son of the officer that Dewey's, Dewey's partner, um, I forget what her name was. The blonde one. Um, and yeah, so that's fun fact. And rest, if you know, Wes Craven was a creator of Scream. Unfortunately, he died in 2015, so he only created the first four Screams. But yeah. Um, and then what else was there? And then in the movie, Sam and Tara's last name is Carpenter. John Carpenter was the one who created Halloween. So, I mean, I don't know if that's just a coincidence or they did it on purpose. And then Billy Loomis, I just thought of it. Dr. Loomis is from Halloween 2, who is Michael Myers' doctor. Now, if you've never seen that movie, the Halloween movies, and you don't know who I'm talking about, but um, Billy Loomis, so, you know, I just thought that now. And so that's crazy. I don't know. It could just be coincidence with the names. But Wes, I'm, I'm pretty sure Wes, they did that to, like, honor Wes Craven, who created Halloween. He created Nightmare on Elm Street, too. Um, the Hills I Vice created a lot of movies like that, so... So there's three connections right there. Could be coincidental. Could they just did it like as a, what's it called? As an Easter egg. 
But Scream 5, I'd give it 10 out of 10. I recommend seeing it. Um, again, it does have some little goriness in it, blood and stuff. So, you know, I, I'm just, I just want to warn you guys. It's a great movie. You know, I really tend to with the Scream franchise. All the Scream movies have two kills in them except three. Spoiler for three, the killer ends up being Sydney's um, brother that she didn't know she had. I guess the mother had a son and then had nothing to do with son. It's it's a crazy story, but he was the only killer in that one, and the rest had two, so that's weird. But, I don't know. Anyways, but I recommend watching the Screams if you haven't. You know, they're great movies, you know, and I'm so... But yeah, I don't know. Do you guys think with the names Carpenter Loomis and... Rest, well, not, I know rest is not, but with Carbon Hill Loomis, do you guys think those are coincidence? Coincidences? I don't know. But Scream 5, I loved. I think it's a great movie. I recommend watching it. Um, I recommend checking out Friday the 13th, too. Friday, um, Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween. Because the final Halloween movie comes out this Halloween in October. Halloween ends. So that's going to be the final. I'm sure it's going to be dope. Halloween Kills was dope. I loved it. Go watch that one if you haven't. Because those movies, the with Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, those are not really scary to me. You know, I wouldn't classify them as scary. I classify them as thrillers. Because thrillers to me are not really they're their own category, not really scary. I mean, it could be a little spooky, but like, you know, that stuff don't bother me. Scream five, ten out of ten. If anyone else saw it, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Um, I thought it was pretty good. You know, like it was well made. It was just. The twists in it with the killers and stuff like it was an amazing movie i recommend watching it if you haven't already um you can watch it on amazon prime or on paramount i believe um if you have any of those if you have smart tv you have any of those um yeah but i love you anyway so much i hope you enjoy let me know what you guys think um let me know what you guys want to say i'm thinking about um playing sims like, I can download on my iPad and do Sims Let's Play. So, that's something you guys should be interested in. Let me know. I just don't have to film. And it's like, sucks not having my DS. My 3DS because the freaking triggers don't work anymore. And I don't know how to fix them. You know, because I can get this stupid back off the DS. But it just sucks as I played Minecraft on there. I mean, I still could play on Xbox, but it's just not the same. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> I'm good, but um, follow me on my socials, guys. Follow Khan and the subscribe to Josh, subscribe to Oisan's Good Juggy, subscribe to Dan, subscribe to Jacob, um, subscribe to Cam. Oh, and shout out to, um, let me get his comment. I should give a shout. Come on. To this, um, guy. Dylan Vincent. Um, shout out to Dylan Vincent. He had surgery. Um, I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing better. Hope everything's okay. Hope it went well. Um, and good luck with your recovery. Guys, wish him luck in the comments. Show him some love. He commented on my video from um, when I saved, I saved my house again video. Um, hold on. Yeah, that's the video he commented on. And he commented on my talk time video social media. So go show him some love on those comments. Go reply to those comments. Show him some love. Shout out to you, man. Hope you're doing good. Hope you, the recovery goes well. But anyways, um, guys, please subscribe to me. Please like. And please comment. I love you all so much. And I will see you randomers in the next video.